tell you guys a true story that's mind blowing, kind of hard to believe even. Um, now I wasn't there. Um, this was my mother, father, grandfather, um, his wife, so my step grandmother, and um, a couple of the grandkids. So my family's very like outdoorsy. We like we love to go hunt, go to the outdoors, target practicing, or just go out in the woods by the river and just, you know, just enjoy nature. That's how my family gets down. So there was this place, there's a place called um Gold Bar here in Washington. And we would go a little past Gold Bar, and there's this um, little cut up into the woods. And you go up through the woods, and there's a stream. And uh, you just, you know, we, we actually have pictures where we took pictures down there by this stream. There's these big boulders, these big rocks, and it's like this stream, more like a small river, I guess. Um, and it's just beautiful. It's just nice to go, you know, spend time down there. Well, this one day, uh, all those that I just mentioned, parents, grandparents, um, they were going to go to the same little place that we usually always go to. But when they got there, there was like people already there. So they backed out and they explored basically and found another cutoff. And so they went up through there. Now, as they're going through there, they noticed a, what looked like an abandoned cabin. And um, they seen some rope hanging from a tree, just random. So anyway, they, uh, they drive up and eventually find this little spot. And they stop, get out, and uh, walk a slight distance down. And they were kind of like on the other side of the river, I guess, maybe. I know there was water there also. Um, and so they're, they're just there, you know, hanging out, enjoying nature, talking, uh, usually bring their own food. Uh, you know, some chicken and just have fun. But my family never, ever, ever goes anywhere without a gun, especially when going to the woods. OK, ever. So. Um, as they're there and having fun, spending time, uh, they were there for like a half an hour and. My. My. Uh, my grand, my step grandma noticed somebody like in the woods, and uh, she said, You know, bumped my mom, she said, Faye, look at. And they looked out and they seen this person. My grandpa, and my, my father didn't see anything yet, and so they're just kind of looking at the person, no big deal. But the person was acting weird, like the person would be kind of walking, was looking in their direction. Then he, would, the person would seemingly disappear and then boom, they see him again. So now their attention's on like, what the hell? And what they noticed is the person would walk and then get behind a tree. And then walk out and go behind another tree. So at this point, they're like, hey, you guys, there's somebody, you know, out there walking weird stuff so now my dad and my grandpa are looking all like what are you guys talking about you know they didn't see anything at first and then my my dad noticed someone like to the far left so first they're basically imagine if they're looking straight right they're looking straight they see somebody behind my dad noticed somebody off to the left and was doing the same thing walking and then getting behind a tree 
So at this point, you're like, what is going on, right? Um, and they're just paying attention to them. So now, like, everything's, it's no more, like, fun. It's like, what's happening? <laughs> and so the more they look and start looking around, they are seeing more people that are walking towards them and getting behind a tree. All right, check it. Listen. A, it gets to a point where it's like this is kind of creepy and my dad went to the trunk grabbed the 357 magnum smith and wesson oh my god i hate the fact that my mom got rid of that gun anyway um it is the beautifulest handle i've ever seen in my life um so he went and grabbed the 357 magnum and just you know kind of kept it tucked they turn around and they're looking and they're realizing that there are people in a 360 degree, like all around them, walking in on them, getting behind a, a tree and they're slowly walking in like that. Where it gets crazy, my mom notices a guy who has his arm cut off and he's, but his, he still, he can control the nub that's there and he's holding a large like rock boulder, a, a big boulder on his nub as he's walking, you know, like this here and getting behind the tree, right? Walking, get behind the tree and holding a huge rock. I'm like, what the, f check it. Grandpa notices somebody with what my mom says is the largest skillet she's ever seen in her entire life. The person had a huge freaking skillet in their hand. And so now they're starting to notice that these people have things in their hand like tools. They start kind of closing in a little bit. And once they get to a certain point. You know, they're like, all right, let's let's get the hell out of here. They were kind of like stuck on what the, you know, is going on. But then they're like, let's get out of here. My dad pulls out the 357 Magnum, kind of points in their direction. And they all, you know, get behind the trees like, ooh. So they get inside the, uh, the car to get the hell out of there. And as they're driving out of there, they see someone butt naked running through the woods butt naked and they're like yo what the hell and then you know they're like kind of going back to the the abandoned house with this robe and you know they're like what the bleep is going on um they just got in that car and they got out of there like just go 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 hurry up what if these people have guns we don't know Let's get out of here. And they got out of there. Um, the people never got extremely close to him or anything like that. But they got close enough that they could see these things. Like the guy with the nub and the boulder he's holding and the huge skillet. And people just had things in their hand as they were kind of closing in on them. Uh, I believe they said it looked like there might have been like seven people. Okay. Um, just all around them kind of closing in. And after a while, my mom tried to figure out what the heck that was. And uh, she was led to believe that they were cannibals. And you ask my mom right now, she will say they were cannibals. Nothing else makes sense to her. They had to be cannibals in the woods and they, they got away. It's crazy, right? I know. It's bananas. Yeah.